Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm welcoming everyone. Everyone I am welcoming. I'm happy to see everyone in this live video. May God bless everyone. May Holy Spirit speak to me today. today. I believe that God will speak into your hearts. I thank everyone those who are watching this uh, live video this morning. Today God will uh, speak into your hearts I believe because uh, God wants to share his message to you today this time. So I am live in this uh, video. So I welcome everyone those who are watching this live video. God bless each and everyone. Today Holy Spirit will give some words to you I believe. So I welcome Sister Faith Edwards, uh, Sister Myra Muniz, I welcome Sister Crystal Davis, uh, I could see your names. So I welcome Sister Bonnie Jean. So today God will speak to everyone I believe. So we will be in prayer. So I will be in live in this uh, prophecy practice room every, every Sunday EST 10 p.m. Same time. Hallelujah. So, our God is much eagerness uh, to share His message to you this time. While I was in my reading, uh, I was reading in my room, God gave me a message to share with you. That is from the First Corinthians chapter 8-3, before coming into the world, let us close our eyes. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you Lord for this fine day which you have given. May Holy Spirit speak to everyone. Let there be clarity in every sense and may the revelation, prophecy, everything be given. Lord, may the power of God be released. Hallelujah. Only the name of Jesus be exalted. Let everyone be blessed. Let everyone's hearts be uh, renewed so as to receive the word of God. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Hallelujah. So today I was reading in my room. So God gave me a word to share with you. It is from First Corinthians chapter eight, third verse. It says, "But if anyone loves God, this one is known by him. If anyone loves God, this one is known by him. So if you love God, God will know you. God will know your love." God will uh, note your love. Understand? Uh, many people come to church. Some people come to church for deliverance. Some people come to church for uh, some other activities. Something like business. Something like uh, giving their visiting cards. Uh, uh, some, some people will come uh, to make friendship. But some people will come to church for actually worshipping the God. In a church, there will be different kinds of people. Some are uh, true believers. They want to worship God. They come to church to worship God. Some people will come for some other business. Some people come for deliverance. So the God who looks into the hearts will not only those people who love God. How many of you understand? Here the Bible says, but if anyone loves God, this one is known by him. So if a person comes to church to love God and to worship God, that will be noted. Hallelujah. You know, Jesus was going for a ministry. And the man Jakai, in the book of gospel, we can see, he wanted to seek Jesus because he wanted uh, the love of Jesus. He was a man who was living in a sinful life. He was the leader of the Jew among the Jew, Jews, and he was a rich man. He had everything in his uh, house, but he lacked one thing that he didn't get the love of Jesus. He didn't have the salvation of Jesus. So what? He uh, he tried to climb on the top of a tree to see Jesus. He realized, he realized that if he sees Jesus. He will be delivered. He realized that he understood that if he sees Jesus, he will be blessed. So he had a love to Jesus. So what happened? Jesus on his way to the ministry, he came to Zakai's house and said, Today 
my son i am staying in your house so jesus was uh, noted that person today i am telling you that many people will be um, watching the live video some want a word from god some want um, uh, to see how many people are uh, watching this live video some will come for a um, uh, time uh, for a change of uh, for to killing the time some will come only just to view it but some anyhow are viewing this to worship the god to love by in the love of god somebody are watching so i am telling you that god will not such persons you know the bible says but if anyone loves god this one is known by him if you love god you are known by god hallelujah do you not know, look into the book of genesis we can see abraham and lot they they were moving to the promised land because god told abraham that you leave everything and go to a place where i tell you so abraham didn't know before that where he was going but because of obeying the word of god he left everything and he was going to the wilderness to the promised land but in his mind abraham his mind was actually not the promised land but to obey god how many of you understand abraham's uh, mind uh, what was in abraham's mind is uh, the promised land is the secondary the blessing is secondary but he want to obey god because god told abraham abraham you go to another place leaving your parents your house every everything you leave and go to another place so abraham knows that if he go he will be plus because he is obeying the almighty god but apart from all the blessings he want to obey god because he loved god but look at the, the man lot that is the brother of uh, brother son of abraham lot he accompanied abraham but um, he, he, he is not accompanying abraham because of the love towards god but he wants a blessing from god He, he wants a blessing from God, but he doesn't love God like as Abraham loved. So what happened when Sodom and Gomorrah fell before Lot's eyes? He thought that it was God's blessing. So he was trapped. And we can see that he was not able to live in the Sodom and Gomorrah because God destroyed. We, you know everything. What happened? So, but but I am telling you this time that if you love God. you will obey god if you love god you will uh, like to read the bible if you love if you love god you will like to pray always you like to worship always you won't get bored some people will say that my family left my husband left i am alone so i am getting bored or i am, I am in a vacation uh, i have nothing to do some people will say that i am very bored from morning i am i have been woke up but i i cannot i haven't done anything i have nothing to do because i am feeling bored some people will say like that but if you love god you won't get time you won't get enough time there won't be any time left because every time you will create that time for worshiping god hallelujah every time when you wake up in the morning you will be happy because you are finding the place to worship finding the time to worship god how many of you understand so every time is a time of worship every time is a time of prayer every time is a time of reading bible every time is a time of meditation so there is no time to spare some people will ask me brother are you free i i said after receiving jesus christ as my savior i am never been free because all the time i will either i will be reading bible or meditating the word or i will be praising god or worshiping god or praying to god so i am no, not never free in my life after i have taken baptism and received jesus christ as my savior because the love towards god in me hallelujah if you love god god will not you hallelujah 
Some people will be in the church for 30, 40 years. They are not seeing any deliverance because God doesn't know such people. God doesn't know such people. But if you are noted by God, what will happen? All the blessings kept in heaven will be to you. God will release, give his angels to you for your protection. There will be a fence of fire around you, so you need not to be afraid. Some people are afraid about their children. They are um, anxious about their children. What will happen to my children? What, why, uh, what will happen to my children's marriage? What will happen to my children's education? Some people are worried about their um, house. I have no house to say. I have no income. How I, I will travel to all the nations? How I will get the flight tickets? Some people are worried like this. What happened? What, what is the reason? Because they, they are not actually in love with God. They cannot uh, experience the love of God. Hallelujah. They might be going to church. They might be reading Bible. They might be praying. But it is only in their heart or only in their lips. But actually it is not coming uh, from, uh, actually from their heart. It might be in their mouth. Hallelujah. How many of you understand? So, uh, 1 John 4, 4, 18, what it says? 1 John 4, 18. Hallelujah. I will read that. Uh, perfect love casts out fear. Perfect love casts out, drives out fear. So, if you love God, you won't be anxious, you won't be worried about your future. You won't be anxious about your children. You won't be anxious uh, about when you grow old. Hallelujah. Because God will take care of you. God will protect your children. God will take care of your children's education. So, why are you worried about your uh, tomorrow? Why are you worried about your future? Because God loves you. It is God's duty to take care of you. If, you. if you experience the love of God, if you have known the love of God, surely God will take care of you and you are not knowing. You know, Hagar was uh, running in the wilderness away from Abraham's house. And why they were walking through the wilderness in the daytime? Because of the sun sea. There was no water there. So Hagar the maid of Abraham, the servant maid, she was afraid that she could not see the death of his, uh, her son Ismail. So she left the son Ismail far away and she was uh, watching what will happen the next moments to, the, uh, to her son Ismail. What happened? Because she thought that her son will die. She could not uh, uh, realize the love of God. She didn't understand the love of God. How many of you say? So she left her child away and was watching what will happen to the child. Today many people are like this. They are worried about their future. What will happen to my future? What will happen to my children? What will happen in my old age? I have no insurance. I have not taken any policy. What will happen when I grow old? Many people are worried. But what happened to the life of Aga? God opened the eyes of Hagar. God opened the inner eyes of Hagar and Hagar saw a, a stream of water already been opened there in the desert. The Bible says, the book of Genesis is not saying that God opened the stream, but it is saying when God opened the inner eyes of Hagar, she saw that there has been a stream of water already there. Hallelujah. So, all the blessings are already been there for you. You have to enter into your promise. Hallelujah. So, what you have to see is you must realize the love of God. Hallelujah. Ashley, sister, God says, I see you in a pulpit. I see, I do not know whether you are ministering, but now I see a vision that you are standing in front of a curtain. A curtain that means in a pulpit. 
you are ministering to many people. By your word, many people are comforted. You are going to establish your office. Your, your ministry is going to be established. Many opponents are there on the way, but they won't stand before you because God's grace is upon you. What you have been uh, done in the past, till this time it has not been revealed. But since God's grace is upon you, you are going to see what you have sown, you are going to reap. It, it won't be a waste. You are going to see your life fruitful from this time onwards. What you have to do is that you have to realize, you have to understand the love of God. Hallelujah. Shalom Aridaman. So God is going to extend the boundaries of everyone. So the Bible says, whatever you do, you do that with love. Hallelujah. What it says, Hallelujah. In the book of 1 um, Corinthians 16, 14, it says, let all, uh, let all that you do be done with love. So, when you come to church, you come to church not to please your pastor, not to show uh, your pastor that you have come to the church, not to get an attendance from the pastor. But when you go to church, you go with, to the church with the love of God, then God will note you. Hallelujah. Then that worship will be, that Sunday worship will be a blessing to you. That fasting prayer will be a blessing to you. Every word ministered in the church will be a blessing to you because God has said that everything that comes from my mouth won't return void without accomplishing its purpose. So whenever you read Bible, it will be a blessing. Some people say that I have read Bible 10 times. Some people will say I have uh, prayed, I have prayed today for 5 hours. But it is not how many hours you prayed. It is not how many chapters you read, how many times you read Bible. But if you read a one word with faith, that will be a blessing. Many people were, th uh, were uh, coming to Jesus for a deliverance. The, but the woman who was having a flow of blood for 12 years, she was not um, um, making to come into the front of Jesus to, Jesus to have his uh, hands lay on her head. But she knew that. Even if I go back and touch the edge of Jesus' garment, I will... She, she knew that she will be blessed. Today, reading many chapters is not, it is good. Praying for hours, worshipping for hours, that will bring the presence of God. But God will not your love. If you love, if you love God and pray, you will be blessed even for one second. When, wherever you are, when you cry to God, God, Jesus, God who looks into your heart will see your, the love. You know, Bertimai, he was a beggar, he, he was blind, but he called loudly from his heart. Oh, Jesus, son of God, son of David. He cried loudly. So Jesus stood there and said, what do you want? I want to be, see my eyes see. So Jesus gave him sight. So, it depends upon the love towards to God. How you love God. When you read Bible, many people will write, read Bible many times. But nobody, only a few are getting the uh, blessings what is said in the Bible. In the Bible, there are some um, something about curses. In the Old Testament, you can see there are some punishments. It was a, a law book for the Jews, you know that? In the book of Deuteronomy, uh, in the book of Number, we can see the God's punishments, God's curses. But at the same time, there are more, more blessings said in the Bible. These curses are not for us, but the blessings are for us. How many of you say Amen? The blessings in the Bible are for us. Hallelujah. So, Adomi, sister, God is going to bless your family. 
God is going to release his Holy Spirit in, in you. I see the fountain of the Holy Spirit upon you. It is pouring upon you. It is coming to you. The power of the Holy Spirit is coming to you. Your life is going to be a blessed. Many people are going to see the blessings of you. I believe that you can understand. So, those who are with you have not till yet come to you, to, up to your status because the grace of God is upon you. Those who, are, those who have been with you are far away. I see them they are very far away. They cannot come near you because the grace of God is upon you. Adore me, sister. Hallelujah. Because you love God, because you obey the word of God, God has seen your heart and God is going to bless you more than that you, God has blessed you before because from this time onwards, His grace is more upon you. Hallelujah. I see a change in, in, in the farmland. I, change, I see a change. I see a farmland. But I, I do not know whether you have any farmhouse like that. But what you are doing, I see a change. I see a ministry changing. I see a circumstance changing. So, you are going to be established. You are going to be known by people. Hallelujah. So God is going to give you. Your later life will be blessed more than the former. Hallelujah. So what I was saying that. If you love God. God will bless you abundantly. But if you love God with the condition. He, he won't bless you abundantly. He will also bless you with some conditions. I went to another place two years back to pray for a, a sister's husband and that brother was in the hospital. He had a kidney failure and they were Gentiles. I told them. I traveled uh, some uh, many hours journey to that place. I told that sister, your God will heal your husband. Jesus will heal your husband. If you love, if both you and your husband will love Jesus. So if you want to love, uh, show your love, you have to take baptism. You have to read Bible. You have to take heed what the Bible says. And also you have to take baptism and do the work of God. So uh, after one year, it was two years before I visited the sister's husband was hospitalized two years back. One year before, she called me and said, her husband is very serious. I told her that, I told you when I visited that you to take baptism and you love God and do the work of law. Are you, are you doing that? She said, no. We have planned that if my husband gets healed, we both will go to the river, um, to Israel and and take baptism in the river Jordan. I told her, are you sure that you can go to Israel? Are you sure that you, are, you can take baptism in the river Jordan? There are many ponds, there are many tanks, there are many rivers in, in, in your place. Why not you take baptism? Why not? Why you want to wait your husband? To get healed and both of you to go to Israel to take baptism because you are giving condition. You are you are giving a con you are saying a condition to the Almighty God who named all the stars. You love God and you take baptism and do His work and God will bless you. But she didn't obey that. What happened? Last two days back, her husband died. I was very sad. And they have two sons. They are very young. She has a very financial burden. She is very unhappy. And she was shocked. I told her, if you love God, don't put any condition. Don't say to God, Lord, I will do that if you bless me. No. If you love God, God will bless you. Hallelujah. So, love without any condition. 
If you love God, love with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. What Deuteronomy 6 4 says, you must love your God with all your strength, all your spirit, all your soul. Love with all your heart. No, without any condition. Hallelujah. So if you love without any condition, love God and your love will be noted. God looking in your hearts will bless you abundantly. Hallelujah. Sandy Nonsa, sister. Hallelujah. I see um, what you have done, San, sister Sandy Nonsa. This word is for you. I see the finance opening for you. I see majority of, in your house are against you. But God has seen your heart. God has seen your love towards him. So, God is going to bless you. God is giving you tasty food. God is giving you more uh, wealth. I see the finance open. Hallelujah. Sister Sa Sandy Mons Nonsa, I see God is uh, giving you a protection. There is a travel ahead. You are going to travel. You are going to another place. You are going to minister. I see um, the rivals won't stand before you because God's grace is upon you. I see the door locked but it is now going to be opened because of the love of you to go towards God. Hallelujah. So I see the door is locked but God today this time God is breaking that door and you are going to enter the promise. Hallelujah. Shala Maram Dirima. So I am going to pray for everyone. So if you love God it will be noted by God. Hallelujah. Peter loved God. But because of his fear, he forsake Jesus in the last time. But he repented. Hallelujah. So he was among the other disciples. He is now with the other disciples. You know that? Because he had repented. What he, for, he forsake he forsook Jesus, but he repented. Hallelujah. Maybe we, we are doing some uh, something that is not a, a pleasing God. But if you repent and come to Jesus, Jesus will forgive you. Jesus will love you. Are you loving Jesus with all your heart? Look into the cross. Why you pray? Why you worship God? Not for a financial blessing. Not for for a deliverance you are worshipping not for a deliverance but you are worshipping God because he gave his life for you he gave his life for you he gave his life as a ransom look because of his love towards you you are worshipping God so today if you change your attitude you are praying, you are reading Bible, you are doing the ministry not to become famous or not to yourself to get a blessing but to, because of the love towards Jesus. God gave his one and only son for us because God loved us. Likewise, Jesus he himself became a sacrifice for us to redeem us from all our sins. So if you understand the love of God, God will note you. That's what 1 Corinthians 8.3 and before uh, I am reading that word again and I am going to pray for you. 1 Corinthians chapter 8.3 what, what does it say? 1 Corinthians 8.3 But if anyone loves God this one is known by him. How many of those who are watching this live, uh, live video is loving God at this time? How many of you are saying in your heart, Lord, I love you. Lord Jesus, I love you. I come to you not for a blessing. I come to you not for a deliverance. But I am coming to you because you gave your life for me on the cross. You, you were crucified for, for my sake. So I love you. Hallelujah. 
So today, this time, God wants to bless everyone in this life. Dahlia, sister, Holy Spirit is saying that. I see a seal. I see a seal that is a confirmation from the authorities. What you have been applied, you are going to get it sanctioned. You have given some application before the authorities and you are going to get it sanctioned. I see a seal from the authorities. The people that stand against you, you won't see them because the grace of God is upon you. I see you moving. I see a movement in your life. Hallelujah. I see a well. Yes, it, it signifies Holy Spirit is going to fill you in these days. More power is going to come to you. Hallelujah. So I am going to pray for everyone. Father in the name, let us close our eyes. Father in the name of Jesus, I pray for each and every one. Those, everyone, those who are watching, let them realize your love, that you have shown your love on the cross for each and every one of us. Let us realize that and let us love you with all our might, all our strength. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus, a deliverance to you. Holy a blessing, a deliverance to you. Hallelujah. God is taking you out from the pit. I see a deliverance. I see, I sense the power of God released right now. The fire of the God is now falling upon you. Breaking all the curses that are in the family and you are coming out from your situation from all the negative situations I see God is taking you out from the pit I see a deliverance in your family Hallelujah God is extending your boundaries God is opening the jars you were in a jar for a long time inside a jar but I see the jar broke you being released coming out of the jar Oh, Rabba Shalama Rabba. God healing the sinusitis. I'm praying for everyone. A financial deliverance for everyone. In the name of Jesus. Some kind of income coming to some people. I see income increasing in, in income. In agriculture, income increasing. Oh, Rabba Nashama Rabba. God is saying, stay where you are and pray and I will bless you. Some people want to have a change but God is saying stay where you are. I will bless you. I will bless you. I will change your situation today this time. Holy Spirit is saying Sister Myra Muniz God has seen your heart. Stay where you are. I am going to bless you. Holy Spirit says you are going to be settled down. You have not settled yet. I see you are not settled yet, but God is making you settled. Hallelujah. Rishalama. I encourage everyone in the name of Jesus. Let everyone be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let the power of God come upon everyone. Let the fire of God be released right now in the name of Jesus. A prophetic anointing upon everyone. A deliverance upon everyone in the name of Jesus. Oh, Rabba Shalabara. God is extending the boundaries. Bless everyone, Lord. Bless everyone, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the clarity in every sense. Thank you, Lord, for giving me an opportunity to come online. Bless everyone. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So, God has come to bless you. If you love God, if you love God like Abraham, then God will say that he, he or she is a man or a woman of my heart and you will be noted by God and you will get all the blessings of God. 
So God is going to bless everyone in those who have watched this live program. I am happy to see everyone those who are watching. So I will be praying for everyone. So I will be on live next week same time in Prophecy Practice Room EST 10 p.m. Sunday. May God bless you. God is going to bless you more and more. Hallelujah. May uh, you see the blessings of the Lord. Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah.